Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing my what sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which will be May 22nd through the 25th. Sales were okay. I had two of my average days and two days that were below average, but I'll take that because it's better than having four below average. Um, so I'll, I've got uh, Poshmark, I think Poshmark and eBay only to share with you. The other two I didn't make any sales on. They've just kind of flatlined also. So just, you know, I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. Y'all, I have just had an amazing week so far. It's Friday. We still have Saturday and I think there's three subdivision sales tomorrow that we plan on going to. Um, but we've already had an amazing sourcing week. It's just crazy. Um, the things that I'm picking up, I can't wait to share them with you. I've got to get some more videos made um, of the stuff that I've picked up. But I, I've had a busy week. Tuesday I did my onboarding with whatnot. So I'm still trying to mull that around in my head on how I'm going, when and how and all of that stuff. So I'll let you guys know when I've plan my first show. Um, and then Wednesday, I did a podcast with Suzanne A. Wells. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed talking to her. Um, I think she allotted like a set amount of time and we just kept talking and talking. So I'm hoping we'll get back and talk some more in a later show. Um, but I think she told me that podcast is going to be out June 21st. So keep your eyes out for that. And then tonight, tonight at nine o'clock, I'm going to be on Desert Sellers live show um, called Moms Who Resell. So that should be fun also. So just I've been busy and then trying to source and I, I have not been processing like I should. I'm just going to, you know, some weeks you get a lot of work done and some weeks you just kind of have other priorities and that's just been me this week. But next week I plan on really, really um, getting videos made, getting stuff processed um, and then start, you know, trying to figure out this new platform that I plan on getting onto. So, you know, just it's a lot. It's a lot right now. All right, let me go ahead and oh wait, I got a funny story first. <sighs> Even those of us who have been selling on eBay forever make mistakes. <laughs> and I made a funny one this week. I'm just going to go ahead and share it. I listed a Talking Woody from Toy Story doll. And, y'all, I didn't watch the last one. Toy Story 4. I didn't realize there's a new name on the bottom of Woody's foot. I guess in that series. So I kept wondering why I couldn't get this mark. Where was Andy on the bottom of his boot? And why was there this Bonnie that I could not get off? So, you know, I just put on there, you know, there's Bonnie is written on the foot of the, the boot. And it won't come off with natural, normal cleaning. And a wonderful eBayer sent me a message and explained the whole scenario to me. Um, so I went in quick. I thanked her. I went in quickly and took out the whole body part. Why I couldn't get that word off the bottom of Woody's shoe. And then she sends me a message back. I went I, and I sent her a message saying, I've got it changed now. And she's like, I was planning on going in there and taking a screenshot of your description because she thought it was so cute. So, yeah, we all make mistakes, but I, I, I have giggled about it. Because I didn't know. I kept wondering, why is there a Bonnie on Woody's shoe? <laughs> so, all right. Now to my solds. Decent sales. Decent sales for four days. Now, this isn't everything. It's a large variety of the things that I sell. But for the most part, it's 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 quite a bit of it. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. So when I say something sold, especially on eBay, um, for a set amount... That didn't include the shipping that the buyer also paid for me with Poshmark. You know, we don't get the shipping. Poshmark handles all of that. Um, so, all right. So, I'm so glad this item sold. You know, when you buy stuff and you just 
don't catch it till you're listing it, but these pants had been hemmed. They're Gloria Vanderbilt, Missy's pants, but they were obviously hemmed. Um, so I was glad when I got an offer on Poshmark for $10 out the door. I'm still good with making $7.05, probably on something we either filled the bag or paid a dollar for, especially when there was a mistake with it. L.L. Bean Women's Capris sold for $13 on Poshmark. This American Girl Kaylee's Posable Dog Sandy um, sold for $12. Duluth Trading Company Men's Jeans sold for $18. And then these next two was a viewer sale. I can't see the name on the order. I just know it said Shani, so I hope that's your name or some close to it. But thanks so much, Shani. She bought these. Levi's Curvy Boot Women's Jeans for $19 and this Miller Lite Racing Cap for $16. So I so appreciate when people let me know that they're viewers and they've purchased this stuff from me because I, I always want to thank you guys. All right, well, and then here's another viewer sell. So thank you so much, Karen. She is Noni's Treasure House on YouTube and on eBay. And she bought this because her grandchild is being born at Halloween time. So she wanted to go ahead and support me and purchase this cute Russ Boo Bear Clown plush for $13.72. This is from that huge estate sale that I've been showing videos of. Um, I bought some of the Care Bear items that they had. This was a Care Bears Yummy Recipe Book. It was unused. You could tell it had not even been opened as far as the spine was very, very um, stiff. Uh, sold for $26.95. American Eagle Women's Cutoff Shorts sold for $15.13. Oshkosh Baby Dump Truck Pillow sold for $8.96. I had a whole lot of bread and butter sales, which I'm fine with that because all of these sales add up. They pay my bills. Um, you know, this is our primary income, so I'm always grateful for any sale, even in the slow times. Kohl's Peanuts Snoopy Dog Plush sold for $8.96. This is Paw Patrol from Spin Master 2015. It sold for $8.96. This also is from the Huge Estate Sale where I bought all the vintage plush. This is a West Bend Baby Bend Classic Alarm Clock sold for $20. Wish Pets Red Wolf Plush. Obviously, there's a number two at the end of my um, title because I obviously had two of them and they had different um, descriptions. So I don't, I don't try to say I've got two of them, but this has this problem and this, you know, it could be one has tags, one doesn't, just anything like that. I'll just go ahead and make two distinct listings and then I'll just number them. It's just kind of reminds me also when I run the um, duplicate screen program, just to make sure nothing's got all wanky that, you know, I, if I see a number one and a number two, that it's two different listings. But it sold for $11.66. I encourage people do that pretty much on a regular basis, once a month, once a quarter. Um, I'll have Robert put a link down in the description. I also think I have it pinned in my Facebook page, but it's just a, uh, I forget what they're called. It's kind of like a website you can go to. You put in your uh, eBay ID and it runs a scan to make sure you don't have duplicate listings. And you know, when you're doing end and sell similar, you know, the, the deletes and people relisting and canceling and just any of those things sometimes, and it even happens to me once in a while, somehow I get a duplicate listing and you know, eBay frowns on that. So go ahead and check every once in a while. Mary Meyer Wisconsin Badgers Plush sold for $11.66. 
Kohl's again. This is from Animal Planet. It's a zebra plush sold for $8.96. Great American Fun Bear Plush. This one had Christmas plaid bow and paws and feet. Sold for $11. Tommy Sonic the Hedgehog Plush Chow, I'm assuming is the name. 8 inch, sold for $16.25. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at the bins. Kids of America Graduation Bear, it's that time of year, um, sold for $13.45. That's been listed a really long time because that is one of those picture cubes I used to use um, to take my pictures. Now I just kind of have a screen that I use and just on my table where I, I work. Um, so this has been probably three or four or five years old, but it's old. Petting Zoo Tan Bear Plush 6 inch sold for $13.45. A lot of plush, but then there's this. These, they've been listed a long time too. These are her side Garden Festival Stoneware Dinner Plates. It was a lot of six. They've been listed a really long time. I got a $27 offer and went ahead and accepted it. Um, Robert does all my breakables. So, you know, I try not to do lots like this, but every once in a while, you know, you just, it's not worth selling individually or, you know, the comps don't show that they sell individually. So I just had decided to make this a large lot. Imaginex, I bought a huge lot. I want to pay, say I'll pay like $8 for a bag full at a consignment sale. I first listed all of them in a large lot. Got a lot of lowball offers. So I decided to end it and break them up into some of them I sold individually, but a lot of them I put in very small lots. Tried to keep it at like the $10, $15 range. Um, these two, it's just a scuba diver and a hazmat suit guy, $10.55. Toys R Us Dragon Plush, 15 inch, sold for $17.95. I like to pick up a lot of the Animal Alley and Toys R Us plush. Don't know what happened here. We've got a partial duck. All right, Walmart brand. Love Walmart. This is a pink dash duck. 16 inch sold for $29.95. This is Hasbro Sesame Street Ernie plush. He talks and sings. Sold for $12 best offer. Kelly Toy Mini Dog Plush 7 inch sold for $8. This is a viewer sale again, so thank you so much, Tracy. Tracy bought the two Baby Alive dolls and the three Puppy Surprise plush for a total of $25.11. Disney Store Minnie Mouse Rabbit plush sold for $8.96. I pick up Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse plush, but for the most part, they are going to be bread and butter. This is 2020, so pretty contemporary. Um, from Basic Fun, a Care Bears Grumpy Bear Plush, 9 inch, sold for $8.96. Mattel 101 Dalmatian Patch Dog from 1996, sold for $17.95. A&A Plush Hedgehog, sold for $8.25. Y2K Muir, Muir Woods sweatshirt um, graphic print pullover sold for $23. I would have never thought that something like this was going to be, you know, for me, that's big dollars for clothing items. Um, but there was another one just like it that had sold. So I was very confident and it sold very quickly. Brown Squirrel Plush from K&M. The sounds did work. Sold for $11.66. Some of these, even if the sounds don't work, you can put them in lots um, 
and still go ahead and list them. Some people just collect them to collect them. You know, sometimes people do want them to work. I'm sure maybe it's got a replaceable thing inside, but it's sewn shut. So, you know, it's not something that I can just easily go in and I'm not trusting my sewing skills to take out this type of stuff, try to replace a battery and then put it back in and repair it. I ain't got those kind of skills yet. Fisher-Price Loving Family Dollhouse. This was a teen and a toddler lot. Sold for $8.96. Different buyer, but back-to-back -back sales. This is Fisher-Price Loving Family Dollhouse Purple Couch and Lamp. Sold for $9.95. Monster High, I'm still going through them. This is Freaky Fusion, Bonita Femur. I don't know any of the stuff on the Monster High dolls. I just, Google Lens is my friend. Um, this sold for best offer of $20. This is Haba. I like picking up this brand. The wooden toys tend to do sell quickly for me. Not for big dollars, but they do sell. This was a game that's... Um, I picked up, I think at the bins, um, sold for $8.33. Spark Create Imagine, love that brand. It's by Walmart. This is a Orange Fox, sold for $13.45. More breakables. This was the week of breakables. Thank goodness Robert was available to pack them for me. Um, this was Homer Laughlin Republic Jean was the design. Um, nine inch plate. Um, sold the three of them for a total of $26.88. A lot of these we pick up at estate sales, you know, for five or ten dollars for a huge lot of them. And then I usually sell them by the piece as like replacements. But they can be long tail. Now this is Pyrex. This was the last to this. If you guys find these glass Pyrex percolators, I did really, really well selling the individual pieces, especially the glass hole that was on the inside, the stem. I made a lot of money on them. This is just the pot itself. It was the last to sell. It sold for $15. And then this was person, I got confused at first. When I saw the two offers, I was like, how do I have two different Bell leotards? But I come to find out one was for a 10 inch doll, one was for a 15 inch doll. I bought a huge lot of them at an estate sale, just a tote, probably 15 outfits that fit either um, Snoopy or Bell. And I sold each of them individually. I'm down to just the last few. Um, but these two sold for a um, total of $26 um, plus shipping. Another Monster High doll. This is Honey Swamp with an outfit. Sold for $30 best offer. Thanks so much, Sherry. Sherry is such a great support of my channel. She likes to buy a lot of my plush. Um, this was from the huge estate sale of all the vintage toys. This was a Cabbage Patch Puppies plush in its original box. Um, sold for $31. So thank you so much, Sherry. And then this is Bernadotte Czechoslovakia porcelain dinnerware. I want to say I paid like 20 bucks or so at an estate sale for a huge lot of this. Um, and then, um, you know, it had the creamers and the sugars and salts and peppers, just all of that. Um, and somebody sent me an offer of $10 per plate, all six plates that I had. Um, so it sold for $60 plus shipping. It was, it's picking up. It's picking up. This week has been even better. I'm so grateful I sold a one of the plush, the big, big high dollar plush from that estate sale with all the plush this week. I was shocked when I saw it. If you guys remember, it was one of the bears that was in a new in the box. Been 
God, this month, it's June, I decided, for those of you who are sticking around, and I might talk about this in um, the video we'll send out Sunday for the weekend, um, what solds, but I'm starting to go through my old listings and start doing permanent markdowns and see if I can't get some of my old stuff moving faster because I've got so much stuff to list that I want to see more stuff going as more stuff is coming in. You know, that's the name of the game, right? But I got to get it listed. Got to. So, you know what? Let's, all of us, we all get to get to work. I'm going to start pulling stuff to process. Take pictures. Can't sell it. Got to get it listed. Bye.